Hello, Namaskar Hyderabad. This is Prasanna from Learning Management System Task Force, Department of Collegiate and Technical Education. So this video is about uh, you know answering the question how to use presentation template. Uh, there were calls. There were you know uh, there were many you know, people were asking uh, this presentation template has been changing day by day. How we can use how to have uniformity. Uh, Today, what we have in the template folder as presentation template .potx, that's a template format that is finalized. So you can use that. I'll show you how to use the template and create your presentation. Okay, can you see the screen? Yes, you're able to see this uh, screen. I've uh, shared a link that is to the template folder of LMSDTK drive. You can see here this one thing called presentation template dot potx download that if you click here it will get downloaded once you download that it will be saved as presentation template dot potx uh, copy to the folder wherever uh, you want to keep it then come back here to powerpoint click window office window then new then rather than starting a blank presentation click on template so I have, uh, in my computer it has been saved as empty template uh, if you would have downloaded that presentation template.potx it should be visible here or you you know just scroll to my templates search where it is and then your template would appear so once you start with that template everything is ready for you you don't need to change any background or anything some people were telling this background image which is there uh, might create problem for you for them to you know make text visible uh, this is a background with a transparency of 85 percent you can change it to 90 95 you know uh, to make it more dim uh, this is the general format introduction then this one missing thing you should have a course outcome here uh, that is there in the template which is updated there and then add the agenda what you want to convey and in the last slide this is been one more question which people were asking so you should not have your name or institution name in the first slide of your presentation because you're uploading this content to learning management system for, for the state level e content development and the portal is for state level you cannot have your name or institution name in the front one uh, but your contribution has to be recognized so uh, the workaround for that is in the thank you slide you have a table mentioning entire team of yourself like there's one moderator three expert and uh, six content developers every content developer has to have this format moderator name and there's one more uh, add on to this so uh, you should have a chairman name also chairman name also since he or she is also involved uh, she is uh, the one who is creating this process of the content development chairman name the institution where they're working with moderator name the institution name and code exports name content developers name so this is the general format of having a presentation don't write paragraph that's already been said don't write paragraph don't just copy paste the content which is already there in the book or internet use bullet points use uh, media wherever necessary uh, that's all if you have any queries anything you want to convey any suggestion please write back to us at lms.dtek at gmail.com thank you